This is Taylor, and he had a blood transfusion nine days ago. The transfusion was successful with no visible complications and was discharged per hospital protocol. Well, hi, how are we feeling today? Not the best. Got some, well, that she, I had just had a tr blood transfusion and um, the nurse gave me a sheet and I'm having some problems, some things aren't going right. Okay. Okay, well you might be having a delayed transfusion reaction, so I'm going to take your vitals here and give you a check up here. Okay. Is there anything else I can get for you right away? Not right now. Okay. So, so what have you been feeling? I just felt like flushed is the big thing. I've been feeling really cold, like right now I'm kind of cold. Okay. Um, without my coat well, on. Oh, maybe I can get you a blanket. Take a I couple deep breaths that. for me. Okay, and I'm just going to check your temperature here too, Okay. and then I'll, we'll get the doctor in here. Okay. Hi sir, how are you doing today? I'm doing alright, I'm not feeling the best, that's why I kind of came in. Yeah? What are some of the symptoms you've been having? Tell me what's well, been going on. I just, like right now I'm really, really cold, I'm uh, having to wear a lot of clothes, um, just to stay warm, a lot of blankets. Mm -hmm. I Something weird that my my urine when I go to the bathroom is red. Okay. I don't, I don't know what that's from. Okay. I was just in here about a week and a half ago. Um, I just had a blood transfusion. Some of my, I guess my levels were low or something. Okay. Um, but I, mean, I don't know. I don't know what's going on. Um, it, did the nurse uh, uh, that was in here before tell you anything about a delayed um, hemolytic reaction to the, to the transfusion you had a while back? She gave me a sheet of paper um, and said these are like symptoms to come in. That's yeah. I, I feel like I have some symptoms, so that's why I'm in. I don't, yeah. I don't know what's going on, but okay. I feel. Well, f based on the uh, symptoms that you've come in with, there is a possibility that you could be having a reaction to the donor's blood that you got from the transfusion a while ago. And so what I'm going to do is going to write some orders for the nurse to draw blood, and then we'll send that down to lab and run some tests on it to see what exactly is going on. Right. Okay, how are we doing? Good, still cool, thank you, you got my blanket. Yep, I got your blanket for you. Can I lay down with my blanket? Yeah, go ahead. Uh, the doctor wanted to draw some blood. Yep, he talked so to me I'm about that. So I'm gonna do that. that. Do you need me to keep, um, keep my arm out? Yeah, keep your arm out. Okay. I'm not gonna look, I don't like needles. Okay, okay. Can you tell me when it goes in, too? Sure, I can tell you that. Thank you. All right, just have some alcohol here. Okay, now you can just get ready. It'll just be a quick poke here. Sir, how's it going? Good. Blankets all good. Yeah? I'm tired. How'd you deal with the uh, blood draw? I don't like needles, but it was good. <laughs> all right. You're still here, huh? Yeah. <laughs> oh, good. Well, uh, the results from lab came back, and what happened is, um, you heard me mention earlier you had a delay, the uh, possibility of a delayed hemolytic reaction, correct? Mm -hmm. What that is exactly is that from your transfusion that you got a couple, or a while back, um, there's particles or material in the donor's blood called antigens. And when that was injected, when that was transfused into your body, your body made these um, particles or materials called antibodies that attacked the antigens in the donor's blood. And so usually we catch this on a screening, but there was so little of the, of the antigens in the donor's blood that it was it's really hard to catch and so that's why we missed it and that's why you had this reaction so um, your hemoglobin and your hematocrit 
are we're kind of on the low side. So okay. well, what, what are those? Hemoglobin and hematocrit are responsible, they're attached to the red blood cells, and they're responsible for getting oxygen to your tissues, um, your fingers, your organs, your brain, all that needs oxygen, and that carries the oxygen to those tissues. And so it's kind of on the low side, um, which isn't a huge concern right now, but we're going to continue to monitor it. So you might have a few more blood draws so we can monitor that. Um, you'll be in here overnight. Um,